Welcome, Ravidius 2, and to the Gungeon. I'm back. Hello, Welcomers. I am going to do a special kind of run. We have unlocked a new NPC. And for six hegemony credits, she will activate this blessing, which is the gun game. So now when we go in to do a run, and I've chosen the pilot for a specific purpose, pay attention to the guns that I'm using. They will change periodically. Um, I will randomly receive a new gun and use that. never have control over what gun is activated at the time. It's a cool um, variant to the standard gameplay. So here I have the lovely cannon. It's little rays. And at the end it shoots a large crystal for the end. It does a bit more damage. Ooh, it chests right off the bat. Now this is interesting. I can pick up the little bomber, but all that does is re-roll the weapon that I'm using. So now I have this... Um, Let's look it up. I won't look up all of them, don't worry. Excuse me, one moment. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, so this is the M1, the most famous rifle in history, according to the M1 Namakon. This gun's usefulness and reliability have become legend. Though not native to the Gungeon, its arrival seems to be expected by the gun dead. Okay. This seems okay. Okay, so this is the play game, which is a kind of a D&D reference. Burning Hands is the actual spell in D&D. That's irrelevant. <laughs> but uh, it says 2d6 plus 8 mod, which is a clear reference to the way damage works in Dungeons and Dragons. Here's the pea shooter. That should work very well for us. But we will not have the pea shooter terribly long. And that is one of the great features of the gun game. There is some different. Um, pilot because the main drawback of the pilot in my my estimation is their starting pistol. Their advantages are that items are cheaper in shops and they have the lock pick which allows them to have a 50% chance of unlocking a chest even if they don't have to have a key for it. So I can see that quite a bit. This is the alien and it is dangerous because of the short range. It actually has a little bit of a bigger range than you can see. But not enough to be reliable, and it pushes you back as you fire it. It's got quite a bit of recoil. So I'm recording this on a, on a sleepless night, so if I sound tired, it's only because I'm tired. <laughs> but, uh, I hope you enjoy this run. I really like it. This is a second tier chest. I'm gonna use the lockpick. I got lucky, so I didn't end up using a key. I'm glad I got lucky because this is the active item. There is no purpose in me opening the other chest on this level because the other chest will be a gun. And that does not help me at all because it will just re-roll the gun that I have. So I have a key for the next floor. will be a little sad, just in principle, if the other chest is gold or gray in nature, and then it's of no use, but that's more or less just a psychological thing you can do. Look for those chests, you really don't want them. Who knows, maybe it'll be a rainbow chest. Now, rainbow chests are exceptionally rare, 
So much so that I've only seen two in my dungeon play. There are apparently some people that have been playing dungeon for quite a long time and have still not found um, the rainbow chests. Let's see, what do we have here? We have the Cog of Battle. This is decent because it gives you active reload. <coughs> it's probably bad for the the blessed runs because it takes different amounts of time to reload based on what gun you have and I don't want to have to think as much so I'm going to get heavy bullets so what this does is make the bullets larger and they travel more slowly but they also do more damage so that's kind of a good compromise we're going to try to clear the whole first floor I know that I have been skipping the first floor in general um, but I, I just, if I'm going to be playing gun game, I think it's useful to start from the beginning so you can actually see all of the different guns that come up there in front. Crash cam is totally fine. It's a little dangerous to use. Again, because it creates those full points and it will not be It very well hurt you. I think I have been to the shop, so I can pick up the key. Also, the key thought process or the key strategy. Um, you don't really need quite as many keys for the gun game if you're going to get guns right away. You'll always have something that you can shoot that will have ammo in it. This is a gun. I'll use the lockpick and then re-roll the gun, but it really was unnecessary to do so. Just kind of a fun thing to try since I had the pilot. Now I could, on this run, go to the Oubliette, and I may well do great boss Say okay, the fox can is probably quite good actually. It's probably an A rank gun. of going to the Oubliette. The chance of going to the second secret area. Let's do it. Let's take the chance. Where is our fireplace? Yes, I believe the fireplace. Just given its layout. Unfortunately, we may have destroyed the water barrel. Yeah, we've destroyed the water barrel. I'm not going to waste time trying to find one in a different room. But that would have been an interesting thing to explore, and I think on a future blessed run I will try to do that. Instead, maybe I'll grab the TV at the end of this level, and we'll try to unlock the robot. My primary intent is to show you the gun game so you can see a bunch of different guns in a relatively short period of time. This is the mine core, something it essentially stuns the enemy during the whole time that it's doing uh, damage over time to them. And then, um, at the end of, I believe, a small explosion. And it's just really good for crowd control. Good to be able to stunned. Now, I got the Huntsman this time, which gave me a hurt. But I think that when you re-roll your re-roll your weapon, that curse goes away. I'm not certain about that. And the concern, I think if you get 10 curses level, you um, can die somehow. I don't know exactly how it works. I've never had that occur. Um, but it'd be kind of silly if you just happen to get 10 random weapons that give you curse. And now you're in a situation where you're just going to die outright. I'm not sure that's possible. That was maybe not the best gun for dealing with this this group of enemies. This one seems to be a pretty good gun, frankly. 
Heavy bullets will probably help a lot during this run, just because we can have a, a, a lot of varied weapons, and if we get something like the pea shooter or the nail gun, we're going to be able to actually deal damage with it a little bit more effectively. Let's see, so you'll also notice that you cannot buy any of the items that would have been guns in the shop. It just doesn't afford you that opportunity. And I think that's a good thing. It allows you to focus on some of the other things that you might be able to purchase. My revolver, shade revolver. It's a revolver and it's a good weapon. <laughs> there are many revolvers in this game. Another feature of the pilot is that you can have two active items. And if I get another good active item, I don't see a compelling reason not to replace the lock pick with it since I have three keys already. And not as much impetus to open every single chest. Half of them are really useless. I do feel like the ammo combat is a lot harder than even some third floor bosses because even though they have more health, their patterns are so much easier than the ammo combat. Oh, 
glitch. Um, I'm glad that he's not glitched. Um, but I, I did get a little excited about having an easy end to the fight. That's the thing with glitches. If they work in your favor, there's kind of this, this dichotomy between, like, I want this game to work properly, but I really do like being able to, uh, complete this particular task more easily. This is not quite the other game gun I would have hoped for, but I suppose it works. It's kind of bad to get this low on itself. But we'll work it out. And we got a heart and a half back from it. Another random gun. I do like that. The black hole gun. Black hole gun, won't you come? And I'll stop singing at this point because, well, you saw the channel update earlier. <laughs> and if you didn't, go check it out. This is an interesting discussion about fair use and media. Could be worse. This is a challenge room, which discretion would probably recommend to not would not have helped us. But I'm gonna pop that skin to give us an easier time of thinking of it. This is a single target gun, really not well suited to But skin just wore off. I have created a problem. This gun's really good for carrying out slimes. This gun is not, but it did actually get the job done, which is a good thing. This is the Let It Go gun. The, uh, I forget what it's called. The first two shots will freeze enemies, and then the last one, I believe, is designed to shatter said frozen. And anyway, my intention was to roll into that enemy and destroy it while it was frozen, but apparently I wasn't able to actually deal damage to it. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.